know what's good guys, it's Zach, hope you all are doing well. This is a super, super highly requested video. Uh, chances are, if you're watching this video, you've already seen my previous What's on My Android Phone video. If you haven't watched it yet, go ahead and pause this one and check that video out. You're going to want to see it. It's my latest version. And plus, this video is a follow-up to that video. I'm going to be showing you guys how to get that set up on your phone, how I got my widgets and all that stuff. So many people have been messaging me, commenting on my videos, commenting on my posts, asking me where I got these widgets and how I set it up, and to make this tutorial video. So here it is for you guys. I'm going to be showing you guys how to set it up step by step so you guys can get uh, not only this setup on your phone but you can also get more familiar with Android customization pretty much so I will be showing you guys on my Galaxy S8 let's go ahead and get started all right so I'm recording my screen using AZ screen recorder whatever's on my screen should be up right here if everything goes well so I have just downloaded Nova launcher so you're gonna want to get Nova launcher go ahead and head to the Play Store and download Nova launcher list so let's go ahead and do that real quick go ahead and download yeah not Nova laughter go ahead and download Nova launcher there we go and uh, you're gonna want to get Nova launcher prime as well which does cost about four dollars if you're a customization freak it's totally worth it though the next thing that you're gonna want to get is KWGT widget which I don't think I've actually paid for just yet it costs three dollars and 49 cents again if you're a customization freak it's totally worth it and it'll end up paying for itself so let me go ahead and install these real quick all right so I went ahead and I installed those the next thing that you're gonna want to get is the OSHA for KWGT skin uh, luckily it's right here and it is free so let's go ahead and install that one next up you're gonna want to get Zuper widget which is kind of the watered down version of KWGT. I actually don't have it here on this phone yet, so let's go ahead and install it. Zuper Widget Pro, I believe, is $3.99. Again, I think it's totally worth it if you are a customization freak, so that's what you're gonna wanna get. And then the next thing you're gonna wanna get is the minimal UI for Zuper Widget right here. That one's free, go ahead and install that one. And then lastly, you're gonna wanna install the Quantum Dots Icon Pack. Uh, yes, this is another paid application, but uh, say it with me now, if you're a customization freak, it'll pay for itself. So right now it appears to be on sale. Uh, it looks like it's free. I think, I, no, I've already paid for this one. I think it goes for 99 cents as of right now. You're gonna wanna get this icon pack. It's great. So I think that's all we have to get for now. Let's go ahead and head back to the home screen. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into our Nova Launcher settings real quick. Let's go to desktop, grid size, and uh, I keep mine here on this phone at least, nine by seven for now. Um, on my S8 Plus, because of its bigger screen, I have it at 10 by seven, and I keep the icon size here at 115%, but because of different screen sizes and all that stuff, I can only put it at 100 five as for right now I also take off the icon labels that's just what I do so let's go ahead and do that and then I also went ahead and removed the dock so let's go ahead and turn that off okay so next let's go ahead and go to our app drawer drawer app grid I usually keep it at about six by six for now and the icon layout to keep things consistent I have this at 105 percent to match the home screen um, let's go ahead and check out the background of the uh, actual app drawer itself I'll usually choose the black color and then I think my transparency let's try 70 percent for now go ahead and see what that looks like and um, actually what I did forget to do, let me go ahead and go back into the settings, go to gestures and input, and then we're gonna go ahead and do a swipe up action to open up our app drawer. So there we go, swipe up to open up our app drawer, there we go. And uh, yeah, that's fine for now. Let me go ahead and go back into the settings. We're doing this step by step, so this is pretty much what I go through when I set up a new device. So uh, let's see, let's go back into the app drawer here. And then we're going to actually yes app drawers that's right icon layout and then we're going to change the label color to white so you can see them a bit better and then we're also going to do um we're going to get rid of the card background i like my app drawer to take up the entire screen pretty much go ahead and change that back to i think we went with 70 last time all right and there we go looking good and then uh, you can also change the color of the search apps the search icon and all that stuff we'll do that a little bit later or you can just go ahead and do it yourself so this is pretty much what I've got going on here in my app drawer um, and then of course I just make a whole bunch of folders if you guys want to know how to do folders let's go ahead and do that real quick let's go back to settings go back to app drawers go all the way down go to drawer groups and then swipe over to folders and then you can add them from here so for example I'll do uh, let's say tools for example so let's do tools or you can name it the utilities whatever you like you tap on this little pencil icon press select applications and from here you can select all the tool applications that you have and uh, yeah from there you should be good to go so let's just do that for now just so I can show you guys go ahead and go back to the home screen swipe up and there you go folder is right there so that's how you get folders in your app drawer all right so let's go ahead and enable our icon pack go back into the settings go to look and feel icon theme and quantum dots is the one that I've been using a lot lately so there we go there's that 
and uh, yeah let's go ahead and check it out looking really nice looking real nice um, let's go ahead and get into our widgets now all right so things are about to get a little tricky here let's go ahead and long press go to widgets and uh, let's go ahead and start off with the KWGT one um, those are actually three separate widgets so we've got here KWGT we can go ahead and swipe over pretty much select whichever size because we're going to adjust it anyway let's go ahead and choose this one I'm getting notifications on my other phone and uh, here we go so oh you know what I actually forgot to do something let's go ahead and jump back into settings show notification bar we're gonna turn that off under look and feel because that's just what I do I like doing that so now we have even more space and it looks a lot cleaner okay back to the widget let's go ahead and put it all the way up here I guess we could resize it to that I believe that's how it looks all right so now let's go ahead and click on this. All right, so now we're in KWGT. So if you're looking at my home screen setup, this is my normal home screen setup. Uh, if you look at the upper left hand widget, we're gonna go ahead and do that one first. So instead of having to scroll through all of these because there are so many to scroll through, we're gonna go ahead and search for it. We're gonna do custom and it's number 26, I believe. Yes, number 26. No, this is the battery icon. So let's go ahead and do the battery icon, the one that's on the upper right hand corner. Oh my goodness, this is such a disorganized video. Okay, all right, so here we go. All we want is that battery widget. If you look really closely, that's the battery widget in there that I'm using. We want to get rid of everything else, all of the other elements besides the battery icon. Uh, you can use the same principles here in KWGT for any widget and Zuper widget as well. So let's go ahead and uh, go into overlap group under the items page. Let's go ahead and go into overlap group. And as you can see here, we have all of our little elements that make up the entire widget. And if we highlight one of them, it'll highlight exactly what it is. And if we got rid of one, we have the trash icon at the upper right hand corner. Go ahead and do that. As you can see, it's gone now. We can do the same thing with the time right there. We can get rid of that. That's gone. We can get rid of the uh, of the date rather. That's gone. We have our date, our, our year, month, week, day, and uh, we can get rid of that. All we're left with is our battery icon. Now, this gets a little tricky. Let's go ahead and tap on this and we can swipe on over to layer. We can scale it to make it larger, but what's gonna happen is, watch when I scale it, it's just gonna end up kind of going out of picture there. But what we can do is hit back and then from here we can go to uh, uh, layer and then position over here and we can choose the X, Y axis in which it'll sit. So let's go ahead and try to see if we can find it now. This, this is pretty interesting, it's kind of fun. So let's go ahead and see if we can find it. There's our widget right there hiding from us. Let's go ahead and see if we can sort of get it in the middle here. Let's go ahead and keep it there. Go back to layer and we can now uh, resize it. We can now scale it. And then we kind of just have to go back and forth. At least this is what I do. I don't know if there's a better way to do this. This is honestly how I learned. So I'm just showing you guys how I did it. Whoops. All right. So yeah, just keep doing this until you finally find the area where you want it. And uh, yeah. <laughs> All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and keep mine there for now. And once you've found the spot that you want it, go ahead and hit the save button at the upper right hand corner. It's saved and you can hit back a couple times and it'll be on your home screen. All right, so now we can just move it around wherever we want. We can put it in this corner. We can resize the widget even more. It's actually the widget is kind of large right now. We can even resize it a little bit to be like that so we can fit more things up in there. But you can actually just go ahead and resize it any way you want. Um, it will take some time to just mess around with it so you can get it in the area that you really want. But let's go ahead and keep that there for now. And basically you just do the same thing with all of the other widgets. So let me go ahead and show you guys uh, the other ones that I have up there. All right, so something like that. And then we're gonna go ahead and let me go ahead and find the one on my S8 Plus real quick. That one is blah, 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 Pokemon number 63. That's really interesting how these are named. Let's go ahead and search for that real quick. There it is. And that's where I got my weather. So pretty much the same thing. Get rid of all of these other elements. I'm gonna go ahead and tap on this. And all we want is the weather. So let's go ahead and get rid of all of these other parts. Delete. And all we have is our weather. So let's go ahead and scale it up a little bit. Let's go back over here. See if we can find it. All right, there it is right there. I'm gonna go ahead and move it on over this way. All right, so there we go. We pretty much found it. And uh, let's go ahead and scale it just a little bit more. So you guys kind of get the idea, right? You really have to pinpoint things here. And here it is on my home screen. It's not really gonna look perfect. As you can see, it's kind of at the bottom there. Uh, for some reason, the widget's not letting me resize it to be kind of like the same size as this one. But uh, you know, you just have to mess around with it. And uh, for this, I would actually move it towards the top so that it can be at the top, if you guys know what I mean. And let's move it more towards the top. All right, so there you go, hit save back and as you can see it's more towards the top so you guys get what I mean you really have to mess around with it 
and uh, sometimes it'll be frustrating but eventually you'll get it so let's just leave that there for now uh, you can go ahead and mess around with it take your time so that you can get the spacing correctly even on my s8 plus the spacing isn't correct and it's kind of off and everything but um, yeah that's essentially what you have to do to uh, get the look and feel of my setup let's go ahead and do it one more time to get that last that one last widget up there all right so the one that i'm using here on my s8 plus is actually called date clock new so let's go ahead and type that in date clock new and there it is and i pretty much just got rid of the time there because i have that at the bottom of my screen all right so let's do the same thing uh, let's not get rid of our date right there let's get rid of the time that's what we want to do and there we go let's go ahead and do our usual settings here gonna go ahead and do some scaling you can reposition it if you want let's just go ahead and see where it's at on the home screen for right now all right there it is it's kind of it's kind of off but uh, don't worry we can always fix that so we're gonna do pretty much the same thing that we did we're gonna go ahead and move it towards the top kind of shove it towards the top there of the screen all right that looks a little better that's it's still off everything is still off but you guys get the idea you mess around with it trial and error really see what works see what doesn't work and that's pretty much how you get the top widget there it's not exactly like mine but um i mean you can you can make it look exactly like mine you just have to mess around with it all right so that's pretty much it i'll go ahead and show you guys how i did my bottom widget as well where i have my easy tech and then my name and uh, the time there as well. All right, so let's get these applications out here. All right, and let's go ahead and do Spotify. Why not? So there we go. That's how I have my icons there again with the grid size. And uh, let's go ahead and do the Zuper widget now. Actually, I think I have one more KWGT widget. So it's pretty simple. Again, you guys know the drill. Go ahead and get a KWGT widget, toss it right there. And this is for my time. Oh, duh, that's why they wouldn't resize to how I wanted them to be. It's because I have the padding on. All right, so you can now resize. If you just turn off the padding or turn on the padding, whichever one, then you can resize it to be exactly how you want. All right, so make sure you, you uh, toggle the padding, all right? Make sure you do that. All right, so let's go ahead and tap on this one. I believe this one is Pokemon 33, and there it is. So all I need is the time. You guys know what to do. Tap on overlap group. Go ahead and swipe over. Actually, no, I have to swipe over. Go right here. Get rid of this. Boom. There's our time right there. And we can reposition this how we see fit. And all right. Let's just say that for now. Hit save. We can go back. And there's our time. Actually, that looks pretty good. All right. So we're good on that front. And then the last one where I have my name and everything is actually a super widget. This is where this comes in. So let's go ahead and let's just do two by one for now. Of course, we can always resize it. All right. So let's go ahead and try uh let's try something like that yeah let's try something like that uh, sometimes uber widgets take a little while to load for some reason all right so it is now ready we can go ahead and tap on that we can hit minimal ui and we're gonna go ahead and find the widget it's really easy it is right here minimal 06 and basically from here i do the same thing of course the layout is a little different but what you want to do let's go ahead and scale this real quick you've got scaling down here I can see it a little better, but I think we're going to have to change that again. Let's go ahead and hit layout. And from here, you can really pinpoint what you want to edit. Let's go ahead and do 04. And this is how I do easy tech. I scroll down here, edit text manually, and let's go ahead and do EZ. All right. So there's your EZ. And what I want to do is actually, I want to get it so that it's on par online with everything else. So I kind of lower it a little bit. What I can do is I can actually see how it's lowered on the other end. So let's go ahead and do 42. It is on negative 10. All right. So let's go ahead and edit the text real quick. We want it to do easy tech and I'll have to go ahead and manually shift things around so that it fits as you can see. So let's go ahead and go back to easy and we can go ahead and shift it over to the left hand side. Let's let's try just negative 25 for now. Go ahead and go back to tech and then we can do the same thing. And there you go. So that's pretty good probably a little off but yeah that's fine for now let's go ahead and go to back to easy yep okay so we're good and then right underneath that i had my name so i'll just do the same thing with the wednesday the date all right so there you go and that's pretty much it so let's go ahead and go back to the home screen see what it looks like it still has to update there you go that's pretty much it i'll go ahead and resize this actually I'm gonna go ahead and uh let's see scale it down there we go and then it'll update and there you go that's pretty much what i've got going on of course i'll have to resize things and 
move things around but you guys get the idea i'll have to move these two widgets at the bottom a little up so that they can be on par with the rest of the icons but that's pretty much it guys so have fun with this i'll have links for these applications in the description so you don't have to go searching around for them but that's pretty much it so i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial i hope you guys got something out of it and uh yeah go for it and let me know what you guys think of kwgt and super widget and all this stuff but uh, yeah that's pretty much how i do it myself Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, feel free to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. That does it for me. I'll talk to you guys in the next video, and thank you so much for watching.